Here it comes from Degrassi. He's going to nudge him in He's the back. He's pushing him. Oh, squeeze him, squeeze him. Oh, that is cheeky. The way Andre behaved on track today was not professional at all. I don't think he can behave in any worse manner on track. Jean-Eric Byrne, the Parisian, leading the way. Behind him is Lothra. Behind him is Lucas Degrassi. Lee, Degrassi's he's coming. Oh, how late on the brakes was Lucas Degrassi there. How many laps to go? How many laps to go? Three laps to go. Three laps. Lothra does not want to let Degrassi through because these guys are getting into that range now. It is worrying. I wouldn't put anything past Lucas Degrassi. He'll make a heck of a go at passing. What kind of race car is this? What is going on? Remember we talked about frustration. Yeah, and he is it, it not is happy with Lothra's defensive moves. Here's what happened. Did Lothra do anything super dodge? Lucas Degrassi almost got him there. He's going to get the undercut here, and Lothra is going to oh squeeze him, squeeze him. Oh, that is cheeky. That's cheeky. Uh, yeah, too much. If you're uh, Degrassi, I would say you have a right to, to be slightly upset. Of One and a half percent more than Lothra. They're saying you got one and a half percent more usable energy than Lothra, Lucas. Two laps Try to go, Jack. He wants three second places in a row, does Degrassi. And I don't think Lucas Degrassi will feel bad about giving uh, Andre Lothra a little nudge at some point. They were teammates at Audi and uh, LMP1 at one point. Degrassi, 1% more than you, entering in the final lap. Oh, sorry. Nose to tail. And now here comes Degrassi. This has got to be the last chance, surely, on the run down into the right-hander of Rodan. He's got more usable energy. What? Oh, not quite enough. Not close enough, Jack. He's going to have to make a lunge at some point, maybe turn nine. Can Lothra even make it to the end because he's got such little energy remaining? Here it comes from Degrassi. He's going to nudge him in he's the back. He's pushing him. Trying to push him out wide. Told you, turn nine. Lothra looks as though he's got that second place, but none of that will matter to Jean-Eric Byrne. The Parisian wins in Paris. And Degrassi is second, isn't he? He's in trouble. He's in all kinds of trouble. Yeah. Degrassi's gone past. He was so on the limit with energy. Yeah. Andre, are you okay? Yeah, but fucking energy in the last lap was not. Fuck, sorry guys, I thought I was gonna make it, but push me. Did Lothra run out of energy? Yeah, of course, because he's a idiot. He had 1% less and I was already on the edge. So for sure he was gonna run out of energy. Calm down, Lucas, calm down. Good job, you did a good job. It's not up to you. The way Andre behaved on track today was not professional at all. Two times that uh, he was not only closing, he was really like pushing into the wall twice, even when he ran out of energy. And uh, if he doesn't get a penalty for the next race, uh, I don't think you can behave in any worse manner on track. I don't know what you're talking about, where uh, everything was clean. He actually hit me in the airpin, so he should review his uh, standards. It slowed us down, I lost even more energy there, accelerating the car, so then before turn 10 I ran out. Maybe he should have given up the place to Lucas and secure a third place. For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left-hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.